Yesterday we had the pleasure of hearing from one of the Nobel laureates awarded for research into atosecond light pulses. Today we're keeping that conversation going. Absolutely delighted to be joined by Pierre Agostini, also 2023 Nobel Physics Award winner. It's such an honour. Thank you ever so much indeed for joining us today. My pleasure. So having spent all your life, you know, working, you know, researching in physics, what was the feeling like when you won that award? The first feeling was surprise. <laughs> I mean, I know every, I, I, I know a lot of people and I would have given the prize to them <laughs> rather than me. So, well, I understood at the end that they awarded the experiment and find founding experiments. We'll live with it. What was it that attracted you to become a physicist in the first place? Well, I wanted to do math. They sort of discouraged me and saying, yeah, it's too difficult. So I took physics. What is it that's kept you going all these, all these years? Sometimes you have to get lucky <laughs> to do an experiment. Uh, my, my first good experiment, I think, was back in 79. Uh, before that, I was just doing experiments on multi-photon ionization, looking at ions. And for the first time, we looked at electrons, at electrons. So we had to build uh, a spectrometer. <laughs> and uh, we did it. And for the first time, it was successful. There's thousands of young people here at, uh, at the conference and a lot of them will have been to hear you speak yesterday. What words of advice would you have for them? The advice would be, well, if you can, do fundamental research and don't worry about the applications and about <laughs> Uh, yeah, practical results. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. We, we, we greatly appreciate it. So thank you and congratulations once again. Thank you.